Hey folks, I'm Surveying Glory and welcome to part 18 of my campaign as Kiev in the 1212 AD mod for Total War Attila. In the last part, the HRE declared war on us um, because we are at war with Denmark. Uh, and we're at war with Denmark because Sweden declared war on us. So a wee circle or a wee spiral going on there. Um, so we've also got Pomerania and Teutonic Corder involved in this war. Uh, I've got a small army here defending Gardinus. We've got a smaller army there that we just recruited. And I'm probably going to just while I'm here, throw some extra troops into this. Uh, I think we'll just go with the Spear Bogateri. These guys better melee attack. Melee defense is poorer. Morale is the same. I just like the look of them. Uh, and they are sword infantry. We don't have much in the way of sword infantry. Let's splash out and get a couple of them as well. Uh, hopefully they'll stand there for two turns. This army here, still got two turns before it can move. Uh, down here, this army... I don't think it can get to Kursk. It could get up to Suwar if we were to leave that undefended. Which is annoying. Ready for battle. I want to send this army up there. I guess then we bring this army down to deal with them before it can push up to Chernigov. I think that's what we have to do. This army could have recruited last turn. Oh, we can't reach them. Okay, so you stay in Suwar for now. And you can replenish. Integrity of this army could do with a bit of improvement, so let's take that. And I think we'll go with the campaign movement range. We'll get this next time. Um, I could recruit there. I was thinking of maybe doing some merging, but do you think it's really worth it? No. So, yeah, you stay where you are. And they can't get down because you need to go around across that ford, which is why they can't get up there either. And can use that ford. And they can get across here. Or do they have to go around that way? I don't know. I don't know. Um, do you know, actually, I think Chernigov is a better target. Because one of the armies from Kiev fell back on Chernigov last time. I don't want that replenishing in peace there. So let's have you start to move up to the border. Is that all? That is impossible. Waiting for orders. And hopefully find that there's only one army there. Good. Right, so we're going to go in there and attack. Unless they've got an army up there. Right, that'll do. I could take the initiative and bring this army out. No, I can't, because they can't... Alright. You can't reach them. Okay, stay where you are. And... 
And that's us. We don't have any other armies left to move. No, I don't. Well, I could move this army up here. How many units are you recruiting there? Three. At your command. And if I move you down here, then you could hopefully recruit Gardinus as walls. And actually, that's right, I'm going to recruit. Muster grounds, I suppose. Can we see what's in these armies? Not really. I think we'll take the risk. Um, the risk being that they've got artillery. We'll move you down here. Commander. Ready for further orders. And fortify. Let's get us Fire another blood couple blood of archers. We need good fighters. Is it worth it? Yeah, need the numbers. Um, so they can recruit and then next turn march back up. If they attack guarding this, hopefully they need to besiege it. If they attack, hopefully they've only got the one ballista. Uh, and the garrison can hold them off. Okay, nothing else to be done. Uh, can't change our minds now. Up here, actually, let's come back over to Suwar. Yeah, so sanitation was the thing I was most concerned about, and it's only at minus one, so that's fine. Uh, we are going to demolish this, so we can deal with the religious differences. Public order, there's going to be a revolt, so I do need to keep that army there. In fact, actually, it's going to be another three turns, at least. Yeah, okay. Minus 44 public order from religious differences. I didn't go for this one, that's why. Might have been a better idea, actually. Anyway, so that's been demolished, that's all fine. Kursk, done. Sharukan, done. Bilgorod, done. Kiev, Gardenas. Okay, so this is all we've got to do. And what does it give us? Extra agriculture, extra wine. Uh, okay. Yeah, so we don't really have any choice anyway. Public order's great. Uh, Orthodox Christianity is improving and it needs to improve further, so we may as well build this up. And a quick check of the diplomatic situation. We will talk and then we will. No. So we can forget that and we'll move on. Uh, once Voislav has his skill, a governor. Don't need that. Construction costs. Authority would help you know, with public order, which isn't that uh, not that necessary there. Zeal. Yeah, it does nothing for a governor. Yeah, I may as well go for the construction cost reduction.
a mother on me. I'm not convinced about moving out of Cardenas. I waited until another faction had appeared and gone to war with us. Uh, after having stood in it for so many turns. But I think we'll be okay. Good, you're running away. So are you. Are you going to attack us? No, you're just moving up to the border. No, you are attacking across the river. Because well, I'm so weak, I suppose. And you do have two armies. Still, I did draw you away from Gardinus. Do I? No, I've still got another turn before that army in Kiev can move out, I think. Which is a pity. Um, where are we here? Yeah, if we could have marched out of there against them, that would have been fantastic. Commander. So we can't get up there. We may as well just fall back on Kiev. Did bugger up our recruitment plans, but that's fine. We'll just reinstate them down here. And may as well stand for a couple of turns. So let's get two more archers. Oh, damn it. Two more archers it is then. No, that's fine. Well, that's okay. Uh, do that. Yes, we know now they don't have ballista or anything like that, so they need to besiege. Not so happy about this army coming south. So, uh, over in Suwar, what do we do with you? That army pulled south down here. Let's bring you up this sort of direction. We cannot do that. Your next command. You have further orders? Yeah, Under. keep going. Waiting for more orders. Advance. Is that all? Let's get you right up to there. On the move. Looks empty. That's good. So we'll march on that next turn. Commander. And for now, we'll attack Chernigov, I think. Many archers. At your command. And we don't have that many infantry. Well, let's... Let's put them under siege. They might sally out. If they do... We'll have to use our calf advantage against them. Uh, let's see. Let's get a ram as well. Can't get another one. Two. No, let's just go with that. None will escape. Alright. Uh, up here. Hopefully, you're going to get a turn to recruit those troops. Militia quarters. We'll leave that for now. Um, just because I don't think I'm going to get four turns to be able to build it. The square. What do I need in here? Public order. No, uh, religion. There's no religion in here. The woodcarver gives plus one religious influence, but that's not what I'm after. So, demolish that entirely. Tavern increases squalor, gives us plus four public order. 
so there'll be a rebellion next turn. And I've just moved that army out. It's fine. We'll cope. Um, we're going to leave the tavern for just now. I don't think it's the most important thing to build. Kiev. It's a big maintenance cost and we don't need uh, the public order. So I'm not going to bother with that just now either. What we will do though is build up Bilgorod. Let's get you up to a metropolis. 21,000. That's worth the money, I think. Let's do that. How can I serve you? you are inspiring the populace. Characters six, so you don't inspire the uh, don't inspire the populace that much, uh, but you can stay there for now anyway, and we'll end the turn. We've still got twelve thousand. Did I not just spend twenty one thousand in Belgrade? Cannot build. I don't have the funds. I thought I had built it. Okay, guess I didn't. Um, at least we'll get this complete, I hope. And up here. Food is okay. And this is probably not going to help with sanitation. Let's go for them anyway. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Right, let's end the turn. You're a governor. Mm, yeah, okay. Let's get one point in there. Yeah, that point in there. Fine. I've got a feeling this is a turn when all hell lets loose on my western borders. Actually, I'm just thinking about the biggest advantage of peace, peace with um, the commands, command a uh, Confederacy would be that my vassals and my allies would not head out east, hopefully. They would turn west against these guys. So far, but you can't reach, I think. What's your story, Pomerania? You want to besiege Kiev? You going to attack me? Uh, well, we'll withdraw then. Now you've done it, this army's good to go. 
uh, you're probably outside the garrison's range, but this army will help. So our rebellion's popped. Right. So up here, let's see this. This is a problem. And rather than these guys. So close. But I need to deal with the field army. The field army is a bigger problem. So you come back here. It keeps them out in the snow. Takes some attrition. Uh, up here, I don't like this at all. It's gathering of forces. Ready for battle. Well, at least we've managed to get a small detachment in here. And it's that sort of situation where I don't want to forgo this and march the army up to Vilnius and then they end up with that army being the target that they go for and draw the rest of the garrison and the other army out. So you're just going to continue with your siege there. Or you'll make your attack, I guess. In here, you are just outside of range. Never mind, let's have you come out. Come out to here. And you're going to make the attack, but I don't really have time to fight the battle in this part, so we'll set it up and do it next time. Don't want the church there. Uh, let's come back down to Belgorod, the Phantom Metropolis. We'll get that built there for sure this time. We've still got a few thousand left. And... Ready for order. May is... Well, no, takes a couple of turns, doesn't it? Let's throw the money in here instead. Yeah, we'll just go for this beer bogateria again. Yeah. Spend all in there. Okay. Yeah. Come and Kipchak Confederacy. Peace would be really useful right now. Right, uh that's okay. We're definitely not going for peace with you because we want to take your land. These buggers over here, Kingdom Sweden, what is your problem anyway? Is it because I've got treaties with uh, these guys? Why would that be a problem for you? I didn't do anything against Pomerania or Teutonic Order. We did. Ah. Maybe it was taking Gardenas that was the problem. That may have been the spark. Anyway. You are welcome. But that welcome Never mind. Uh, HRE Speak quickly, but do not expect the good one. No. And nobody else will agree to peace then. Do not expect No. Who's it? I'm not at war with the Shitonic Order. They're not there. No, I am at war with them. They just don't, don't dislike me that much. Welcome, I suppose. Right. Okay, fine. So uh, where are we? Kiev. Let's view, come out, make this attack. No surprise there. 
Ready for orders. You match up a bit closer. Would that I were you attack. Split up. Damn. March. Never Ready mind. We'll get you this time. Make haste, men. We hunger. Right, and we're attacking the weakest army too. Now just go for them. Okay, let's check out the terrain. Okay, so we're going to be starting up here, sweep down that hill. Unless they choose to come towards us, they don't have any archers. They do have a few in this army. So you never know, they might actually come towards us. So. Yeah, we're going to fight the battle, but that will happen in the next part. So for now, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. And I hope to see you again next time. Cheers.